it's Joanna here. So inner thigh gap and slim waist has always been the most requested workouts and that is what we're going to do today. But before we start, it's important to know that we are all made in different shapes and sizes and that we're all beautiful. Not everybody can have inner thigh gap because it really comes down to your bone structure, how wide your hip bones are set apart. But that does not mean we cannot tone up and slim down on our inner thighs. So today's workout is about defining and toning up our inner thighs as well as to tone up on our abs to give us a nice slim waist. Don't forget to eat clean as well. So let's get started. Don't forget to do your warm-ups at least five minutes long. I'm going to do a quick warm-up by doing some squats. This entire workout will last you six minutes long per set and I want you to do three sets. Each workout will be one minute long, 45 seconds of workout and 15 seconds of rest. All the workouts will be working on your inner thighs as well as your waist. So it's going to be intense, but it's going to give you the result you want. Okay, so really pump up your energy, just push yourself through the six minutes, rest and push yourself through another two more sets. All right, good. So I'm going to set my timer and we're going to start. So the first workout is sumo squat and twist. So stand in the wet position, squat down and twist up to work on your waist. And I want you to bring your arms up, make sure that your elbow touches your knees and twist. Okay? Always keep your arms up to guide you to go as low as you can. Your elbows must touch your knees. If it's not touching, you're not going low enough. Good. So you should be feeling your inner thighs as well as your waist as you're twisting. You can use a dumbbell if you want to. This is two kilos. Or you can just do it without a dumbbell. Good. Rest. Same thing. 45 seconds on the other side. All right, so take a breather. Make sure that you're standing wide apart, toes facing out. Ready, let's go. Elbows touching and twist. And feel your inner thighs working as you're squatting down. Remember to keep your body in a straight position. Good, come on, keep going. Really squat, feel your inner thighs, your bum as well, and your waist. Keep going. Good job. Almost there. Keep going. Doing well. Keep your arms up. Don't drop your arms. Elbows touching your knees. And rest. Drop the weights. Second workout. Sumo squat. Still with your arms up with leg raise, okay? So this will be working on your inner thighs and your outer thighs as well. Down and squeeze it, good. Make sure that you're squeezing all the way up. Elbows touching your knees, squeeze. Good job. Right, no cheating, no halfway. All the way up and squeeze. Feel your inner thighs on the way up. Good job, there you go. Nice. So you're having your arms up, in a boxer position, good. Keep your body straight, look ahead, and feel your fat crying. Nice one, squeeze it, keep going. All right, last one, and rest. Same thing on your right side, okay? Doing good. Very good. Get ready. Take a breather. Right, let's go down. Squeeze. Good job. Land gently. Nice. These are really simple moves, but it will really target your inner thighs and your waist as you're squeezing up. Good job. So instead of working only on one part of your body, we want to be focusing on multiple parts for your benefits 
as well as to save time. Keep going. Last few. You're not far now. Elbows touching your knees. Squeeze. Last one. And rest. Third workout. Jumping side to side. So it's literally like side lunges, but I want you to jump side to side and spread as wide as you can to feel your inner thighs. Ready? Go. Jump. Keep your body low and feel your inner thighs and your thighs working at the same time. Okay? You can keep your hands up. Keep going. Really go as wide as you can. Good job. Keep pushing. Nice one. Come on, keep your body low if you need to. Really spread as wide as you can. Make sure there's nothing around you. Good job. And rest. Fourth workout. We're going on the floor in a plank position. Okay? What we want to do is mountain climber plus jump plank. So up, mountain climber four times, and jump out, in, okay? So one, two, three, four, out, in. Good job. One, three, four, out, in. Find your rhythm to it. Try to keep your body in a straight line throughout. Good. So you're really working on your inner thighs, your legs, and your core. Who loves mountain climbing? Let's go. Out, in. You can bring the speed up if you want to. Out, in. Good. Keep going. Last one. And rest. That was one set. Okay? Rest for 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and we're going to repeat the entire thing again. Just ignore that. Take, a, take some drinks if you need to, drink some water if you need to, and we'll be starting soon. Are you ready? Now that you know the workout, let's give it your all and really push all the way through. So let's start with sumo squat and twist. Let's go. Stand wide, arms up, and twist. Good job. Keep going. Really target your inner thighs and your waist. Like I said, if you find this difficult to begin with, you can drop the weight and slow down the workout. It's more important that you get the techniques right and feel the right parts of your body than to rush the workout. Keep going. Elbows touching your knees. Twist. Good job. Twist. Almost there. And now, rest. Good. Change side. Come on. Let's keep going. You should feel your heart rate going up and you should be sweating. And that is good. Arms up. And go. Reach. Good job. Really twist and reach as far as you can. All right, up. Keep going. Whew. Breathe in and out. Find a rhythm to your breathing. It will help with your workouts. Good. That's your keep squatting. Doing good, almost there. Whew. Let's go. Last one, and rest. Drop the weights, and now squat with leg raises, okay? Let's start with our left side. Ready, arms up, let's go. Down, squeeze your bum, good, squeeze. Really squeeze your bum in the thighs. Good job. 
just like a fighter. Let's go. You got to work hard for the body you want. If you're not sweating, you're not gaining. Okay? All this takes work and dedication. But it's going to be so worth it. All right? Keep going. Almost there. Squeeze. One more. And rest. Good job. Take a breather. Adjust your clothes if you need to. On the other side now. Arms up. Legs wide apart. And that's the cue. Go. Up. Good job. Short and intense workouts are better than none. So if you don't have the time to do long workouts, choose short and intense because you're equally burning as much calories. Good, so really squeeze, spread your legs. Doing well. Almost there. Keep going, not now. Do not stop now. You've got two more workouts to go to complete your second set. Keep pushing. One more. Rest. Good job. Third workout. Jump side to side, okay? Try to go as low as you can and try to spread, spread your legs as wide as you can. Ready? Let's go, jump. Good. Really feel your inner thighs and your legs working, and your core is the one that's helping you to stay upright and to keep your balance. Keep going. Okay? You're doing well. Come on. Almost there. Push it. Push it. Do not stop when you're tired. Stop only when you're done. Good, rest. Fourth workout, down on the floor, mountain climber with jump plank. Okay? Can you see me? Good. Up, mountain climber, go. Four times, jump out, in. Out. In. Find the rhythm. Good. Try to keep your body as straight as possible. Out. In. Come on. Keep going. Really push your thighs and tighten your core. Almost there. One more, rest, very, very, very good job. Now that was two sets down. And now I want you to push yourself and do another set. That's the cue for you to start. Each set is only six minutes long and the total workout takes you less than 20 minutes long. So there is no reason why you don't have the time or you can't do it if you want a slim inner thighs as well as slim waist. Don't forget to check out my meal plans to go along with this workout. Do it three times weekly on every other day. All the best! For new fitness, food and motivational videos, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and website. Do follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to stay connected with me. Thanks guys!